Hi. I'd like to say thanks for the comments and suggestions in the last video on how I can improve the performance of this motor. Later I'll show a circuit that could be used in any pulse motor. I'm going to explain how this motor works and some of the challenges I had with getting it to run better. This is a brass shaft and flywheel and then there's the two three-quarter inch neodymium magnets on the steel keeper and they're north south facing the core last video I explained how this coil was wound the way I have it turned right now I have the the two poles from the pulses on the side here on the horizontal. So with the timing from the reed switch when a light pole is just off center of the main pole you'll get a repulsion that will send it around to the collapsing field which is attracted to on the other side. So I was driving this with one pulse per turn but yet there was a half turn that wasn't being pulsed. Now if I was to pulse that again you would end up in attraction mode and it would stop the flywheel. So the challenge is to create another pulse but yet it would have to be in reverse polarity through these coils in order to get another cycle of repulsion and attraction and then you'd be back to the original for the next turn. The other suggestion was to capture the back EMF off the coils. You can see I only have one layer of turns on this coil and there really isn't any back EMF to capture. So what I did was I made my own back EMF. This is the circuit that I'm using. The primary inverter driver, basically a push-pull circuit. When this transistor turns on, the current flows out of the battery through the coil and charges up this cap. The motor turns and this transistor turns off. When this transistor turns on, the current flows back out of the coil in the opposite direction and discharges the cap. So you're basically using the energy from the first pulse a second time in reverse through the coil giving it an AC current. So you're using the energy twice. I'm going to have the positive connected up to the negative side of this cap bypassing the second transistor first and we can look at how much current it uses versus the two transistor. This could be used in the traditional style pulse motors. It might actually work better than it does on this one. So I have a voltmeter here connected across the capacitor and I have it set to AC volts. So when I switch this over to the two pulse, we can have a look at the voltage in AC. So it's on the one pulse system right now. The two reed switches are up in the front. We're only using the one right now. And we're using around 340 milliamps. I'll switch this over to the two transistor and now we have AC. There's 6 volt DC coming in from the supply and we have 6 volts AC on the meter. If I switch this to DC you see we get half the voltage which makes sense because of the 
AC being the two pulses. It does rev up more smooth. And it's using less current than it was before. Be like a copy of the circuit or any circuit that you might see on YouTube. What I usually do is I view the video in full screen, stop it where I want, and if your keyboard has a print screen key, press that and then I open up something like Paint, the Paint program, and click Paste, and then you can either print or save the circuit from there thanks for watching